What's going on guys? So in this video, we are going to be looking at this very new and practical Wi-Fi hidden camera wireless charger clock. So it is exactly what it say it is. So it is a wireless charging pad that will allow us to charge all of our phone with the wireless feature, of course. And it also has a built-in digital clock down here. And lastly, and the main important feature of this product is that it has a built-in hidden camera, which is located right here. Here, and the naked eye cannot tell that there is a camera right here so it is a very nice disguised product that is again very practical we can actually lay our phone on here and it will charge our phone wirelessly and it also give us the current time so very very cool product now let's go ahead and dig right into the video and check out what's inside the box here is the box and everything that came inside first in the middle we have the user manual on this side we have the micro usb charging cable and here's the charging block and we also have this little pin right here that will allow us to reset the camera if we ever need to reset it for any reasons and lastly of course we have our very nicely designed Design wireless charging pad with a built-in hidden spy camera so here it is guys at a first glance or even second or third glance nobody would ever guess that this is a hidden security camera so again this works as a wireless charging pad also and it is very light in weight and it is under a inch thick so on the front here there's also again a digital display clock that tells you the exact time and it is actually the correct time and you can have it in the 12 hour format or 24 hour format so the back here you can actually tilt it upwards now you don't have to tilt it up so you can actually leave it like this and just lay your phone on it and it will start to charge your phone wirelessly now of course it does require your phone to have the wireless charging feature now you don't have to raise it up like this again you can just leave it like this and then sit your phone right on top and it will also charge your phone just like that or it will also charge any other wireless charging devices that you have now when it comes to the details i really think they have put a lot of thought into designing this product because as you can see right here when we tilt this upwards at the bottom here there is a little anti-slippery piece meaning when you set your phone on there the phone will not slip or slide even if you have it vertical or horizontally like this so no matter how you place it the phone will not slide at all and in addition to that this piece right here is also anti-slippery here so it really holds the phone or whatever product you have on there very very nicely now on the front here again there's a digital clock display and right over here is where the camera is and I'm trying very hard to actually show you the camera but I don't think you can actually see it here on the camera but there is a sticker piece right here so when you buy it you want to actually take the sticker off but I I want to leave it on there for now and I'll take it off later when I show you how good the video quality is of this product. Now over here we have several buttons. So, so on this side we have three buttons. Now all of these buttons are used to control the digital clock that is on the front. So first we have the on and off button which is also the minus button. Next is the 12 or 24 hour format button and the plus button. So simply press this button once to change the time format from 12 hour to 24 hour. And next is the set button so you simply hold this button down for a couple seconds that will allow you to start adjusting the time and after that you use the minus and plus button to adjust the hour and the minutes now on the back here we have a micro SD cord slot. You can actually insert a micro SD cord in there up to a 64 gigabyte memory cord for you to actually record and save all the videos and picture of this camera directly onto the cord. Or you can just really record the video or pictures directly on your cell phone when you view it wirelessly. Next we have the micro USB charging port and the on and off switch for the camera and lastly there is a little pinhole right here in which you can use that pin i showed you earlier if you ever need to reset the camera simply insert the pin in this little hole to reset the camera by holding it down for about seven seconds so here is the three in one product this is what it looks like when you power it on using the power cable that comes with it it works as a wireless charging pad a digital clock and a hidden spy camera so on the front obviously we see the digital time display right here so it is flicking right now because of my camera in real life it does not flicker at all whatsoever now the time again can be turned on or off by simply pressing the on or off button on the side and it can also be leave as a 12 hour interval 
or a 24 hours interval. Now on top here, there's a LED light indicator letting you know if your phone or devices are being charged on here or not. So when it is on standby, it is on red and blue. When it is charging, it is on a solid blue color. Now again, this piece right here is very well designed and on the back here, both were anti-slippery pieces. So regardless if you leave your phone like this on the side or if you stand it on up like this, it will charge your phone regardless how you have your phone on there and it will really hold the phone in place very nicely. And you can again push this entire piece down and just lay your phone or device on top and it will also charge your device just like that. But I really like the fact that you can actually tilt this piece upward because I leave this device on my office desk a lot of time and when I actually charge it wirelessly like this, I can actually play with it at the same time when I am charging it. Here's a video sample shot directly from the camera that is built inside the wireless charging pad. So quality wise, as you can see there, it is very decent. Another very cool feature is that it does have motion detectors. So you can have the motion detection on and it will shoot you a notification directly to your phone as soon as it sends a motion. Setting this Wi-Fi camera up with our phone is fairly easy and simple. The user menu tells you exactly what to do, but let me go ahead and quickly show you and go over the steps with you guys here. So the first thing you will have to do is head to your phone. Now this will work with iPhone, Android phone, or even computer. So we will have to download the app called P2P Live Cam, which is this blue and white app right here. Once we have the app installed onto our phone or computer, next of course we have to connect the power cord onto the device and turn on the on switch on the back here. Now once we do that, we head directly over to our phone, go to the Wi-Fi setting inside our phone and we should be able to see this device pop up in our Wi-Fi setting within about a minute or two. So the name of this device is called CM and then followed by a whole bunch of numbers. So simply click that and the phone will be connected directly to this device right here. So once the phone is directly connected to this device, we can actually head inside the app that we just download and view the camera directly by connecting it and pressing the plus button that is on the top right corner of the app. So, so once we hit the plus button right here, we are prompted with this screen right here. So go ahead and select add new online camera. And at this point right here, we can actually search for the camera wirelessly by selecting search or we can scan the QR code that is below the camera here. So just go ahead and click search right here and it will find the camera since I already have mine connected. I don't have to do anything, but for your case, just go ahead and select the camera and it will be connected. And after it is connected, it will require a two minutes reboot. So when it asks you to reboot, go ahead and hit OK to reboot. And after that, you have to wait for two minutes. Do nothing in those two minutes. Just leave the app up like this for two minutes. And then after two minutes, you can actually refresh the screen right here and then select the camera. And once you select the camera, the video will be normal and you can see the video just like this. So right there, as you can see, I am behind the camera talking to you guys. You can actually control many, many different settings here. So you can have the video quality on uh, low bandwidth, meaning it will be very, very blurry, or you can have it on normal, high, or HD, meaning the highest definition video available. So pretty cool feature included with this uh, hidden spy camera is that you can actually control the night vision mode. So let's say even if it is during the day now, I can simply hit this button right here on the top left corner and it will put the camera into night vision mode within a few seconds. So as you can see right there, the camera went into night vision mode and this button right here is to turn the light on and off. Now, this light is actually located behind the spy camera right here. So there is this little blue and red light indicator right here to let you know that the camera is on, but you can turn it off simply by pressing that little light bulb on the screen that I just showed you. 
Now, let's say if you want to record a video or if you want to take a snapshot of the screen here, all you have to do is press this button right here. So this button is to take a snapshot and this button right here is to actually record a video. Now, the video will be recorded directly onto our phone and then we can actually save the video directly onto our phone. Now, when you are viewing the video live or when you are recording the video, you actually have another button right here. This is the audio button. So let's say if you press this button you can actually hear what is going on or you can actually record the video with audio if you want so now if you want to view the video all we have to do is actually go back here and on this main screen right here we have several options at the bottom so all right so I had to uh, tilt my phone here because I want to show you something else so at the bottom here again there are several different options so first is the live video view to view the camera next is the snapshot which obviously we did not take any snapshot and on this screen right here is what's important this is the recording so if you select this tab right here this is the video that we actually just recorded right here and if you want to save this video all we have to do is hold down on it for a couple of seconds and it will pop up this prompt right here so we can then now actually select share and then we can actually save this entire video onto our phone so this is a very very cool and nice feature so you actually don't have to have a memory stick in this product at all to record videos or to take snapshot which is very very cool and the lens of the camera is actually a wide angle lens meaning I'm sitting like literally less than a foot away from the product but you can see a very wide image of the uh, whatever it is that you are actually recording so you can actually see the entire room from only a couple of foot away which is very nice and the video quality is absolutely high definition 1080p meaning it is very clear also so there you have it guys the all new wireless charging pad digital clock and hidden wi-fi camera this is a very cool and practical product again that i actually like to use and i actually do use every day just from simply charging my phone and sometime i would turn on the camera just to see what's going on in the house or if my son is messing with my stuff or not now you can use this for any purpose that you want that is completely up to you but it is very very cool and practical that we can actually use every single day so with that being said guys i will leave a link to where i got this in the description box below so you can check it out for yourself thanks guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video